How's it going guys? We're back with another Decisions Decisions video. This one is at the end of the Big Dig mission for Bobby Nonos. And you come through to what you were thinking to be a warehouse underneath Diamond City. But no, Bobby has led you to Hancock's secret warehouse. I don't understand what's going on. Don't worry about it. We are so close here. I see the rest of you are in the dark about this. Nice, no-nos. You all just broke into Hancock's storeroom. You know, Hancock, the mayor of Good Neighbor. Damn it, Bobby. Listen, guys, I know this isn't what you expected, but there are still a ton of caps on the line here. Help me take her out. And all so after all the dialogue, us. you're going to be posed with three options. Option one, persuade Bobby to give up peacefully. Option two... Help Bobby finish out the mission. And option three, betray Bobby. Let's see what happens. This is Hancock we're ripping off here. The guy tends to hold grudges. Counter offer. Just go back into your tunnel and we can forget this ever happened. What do you say? Come on, Bobby. At least if we leave now, we leave with our lives. Well, shit. You're right. I'm not one to give up. But I know when I'm outmatched. Let's go. Thank God. If your charisma's high enough, you can convince Bobby to end peacefully, walk away, and nobody gets hurt. Excuse me. You made the right move. Now that they've set up shop, I've told the minimen we'll be in a better position. Sorry to cause you trouble. The boss will understand. You didn't know what you were doing. Here, take this. A token. For doing the right thing. Hancock will be happy to hear about your loyalty. You should go pay your respects in person. It's best to stay on Hancock's good side. Trust me. So persuading Bobby to leave peacefully gives us the Ashmaker legendary minigun, 345 XP, and keeps everyone alive. Maybe I should talk to the boss. I can't be that mad at me. What's the worst thing that could happen? Come on, Bobby. At least if we leave now, we leave with our lives. I haven't come this far to run away with my tail between my legs. You are either with me or against me. So in this scenario, we're going to betray Bobby at the end of the day, who wants to be on Hancock's bad side. Bobby's not happy. She attacks you. You've got to take her out. Be careful. Her gun bleeds your health away after it does its initial damage. So have your stim packs ready. So once Bobby's dead, it'll tell you to go and talk to Fahrenheit, but before you go up and talk to her, don't forget to go and loot Bobby's body. Commonwealth weapon I have to say, I'm not really cool with how this went down. You made the You'll be able to get the gun that Bobby was using, which is the Wounding Combat Rifle. It's a legendary rifle that bleeds your health away after the initial hit. I already have one, but it is a fantastic weapon. If you don't have one, I would consider this option. And when you go up to talk to Fahrenheit, it's the same dialogue conversation you had with her in the last scenario. Bloody bloody blah, 345 XP, bloody blah, go and speak to Hancock. Sorry to cause you trouble. The boss will understand. You didn't know what you were doing. Here, take this. And of course, you still get the Ashmaker legendary minigun. Hancock will be happy to hear about your loyalty. You should go pay your respects in person. 
It's best to stay on Hancock's good side. It's a similar ending to scenario one, except Bobby's dead and you've got her gun. Hancock we're ripping off here. The guy tends to hold grudges. Counteroffer. Just go back into your tunnel and we can forget this ever happened. What do you say? I am gonna see this Scenario time. 3, you we're gonna stick with Bobby this. and we're gonna see the I mission out to its step. bloody end. Wrong move. You're immediately attacked by these dudes with flamethrowers. Take them out. Um, I'm in a power armor suit so I'm not taking too much damage. But if you're not, this fight will be a wee bit tricky. Just keep battling out, healing yourself when you need to. Once the flamethrower guys are taken care of, you need to head upstairs and take out Fahrenheit. She's got a minigun, so be careful. Once Fahrenheit's dead, you still are able to get your hands on the Ashmaker minigun and you can loot her for the store key the loot must be so you can get your loot. Train car. Let's open it up. Huh. Fahrenheit probably had the key. See if you can find it. Bobby. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta be tons of dirt on Hancock in here. Yeah, well, I'm just glad we made it through all that alive. And now you get paid for it. So quit your whining. And you, I couldn't have pulled this off without your help. I think I deserve a bigger So in addition to the Ashmaker, you will no also get caps in this scenario. Uh, the standard caps is 200, and if your charisma's high you enough, you can get an extra 50 caps Here's out of Bobby. Your share. You done good, kid. Enjoy. And of course, you still get your 345 XP. So no matter which scenario you choose, you're getting your 345 XP, and you're getting the Ashmaker minigun. It's up to you whether you want your caps, you want the wounding combat rifle off Bobby, or you want everyone to stay alive. The choice is yours. I chose scenario one. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped you make your decision. I hope to see you again and take it easy.